Welcome to my first ever world in Stardew Valley. Recently, I needed to look at something from one of my previous worlds, and I realized I made a lot of mistakes the first time I played this game. So here's just a little overview of what I found when I went back through that world. This world is on day nine of winter year three, and I've played about one day since I created my second world, and that was when I found out about the Statue of Perfection and decided I wanted it. Because before that, I think I had three candles, so I was not able to get a Statue of Perfection, but now I have five. Uh, the first thing you notice when you log into this world is that I have one house upgrade, because I didn't know what I needed beyond a kitchen, and now I know that I can get a basement. But I was, I was unaware of the basement before this. I have two fish in a fish pond. I have six barn animals and six coop animals uh, with no hay, which uh, I, could be worse. It could be worse, I could have less animals. Also, if you look at this little island right here, this is the only place where I would farm because it was close enough to where I was and I put all of my actual buildings closer to my house. But I didn't really farm a lot. And also this was just not the best map to choose as a first time Stardew player because I could never get anywhere. As you can see, I kind of get stuck everywhere and this is not just a, oh, I haven't played in the world in a while. It was a, I got stuck everywhere. However, I do have four sprinklers, two in the greenhouse and two outside the greenhouse on that little island, which is a lot more than I have in my current world. So I'm kind of impressed and two of them are iridium. That's pretty good. Also, I actually have friends in this world. And the way that I did that was every day I'd pick the two friends on the bottom of the list of my friend list and give them a gift that I could keep up friendships with everyone. Also, I'm dating Sam. I made this world before I really understood what the fruit bat cave was. So I have the mushroom cave. And as you can see, I still have decor everywhere, which mostly it's in my house in my new world, but still, it does not look nice. So I did manage to complete the community house in this world, but I have not yet been able to get in the casino because I did not know what it meant to give the sand dragon its last meal. But I, I've been everywhere. I've I've gotten down to floor 100 in Skull Cavern. It's not like I haven't done it, I'm just not good at it. I did not finish the movie theater, in part due to the fact that I didn't have a basement and couldn't figure out how to make Gold Star wine. And the museum is almost done. I feel like this is pretty impressive. I, I spent a lot of time mining. That is one of my favorite things to do in this game. I also didn't know that I could be roommates with Krobus, which is why he's a good friend of mine, but not living with me. Also, I have been to Ginger Island. I've created most of the buildings and I have a pretty good farm going on. Like I do have no sprinklers, but I also have a lot of trees. I feel like they balance each other out. I also have a really good weapon that I made in the volcano. I didn't know you could combine rings together in the volcano though, which these are my favorite two rings and I would combine them again in another world, like knowing now that you can do that. My house is empty. It has absolutely nothing in it, except a single bed. I have been allowed in Mr. Q's room, although I may or may not have had to look up where all of the walnuts were, which I probably shouldn't have done, but I also really couldn't find. I have almost a million coins, which is good because I was saving up for the return scepter, which is two million coins. And I also could not remember who sold it and where it was located. However, I think I've been saving up for the Return Scepter for about a year, so uh, at this rate, I am never actually going to get it. Of course, I have the Garbage Bear, who I love, but I don't cook, so he actually is still waiting for me to give him food. And as you can see, I actually have made a lot of progress in this world. It's just that most of it relates to mining and nothing else. But honestly, overall, I think I did a pretty good job for a first world. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you here again.